This is how you can move a full 55 gallon drum from a trailer or a pickup or similar platform down onto the level ground. First, I'm just gonna tip the barrel back towards me. You have to lean into it. This is a full 55 gallon drum of oil. And now I'm just gonna walk it. I'm gonna keep it balanced on that edge and then just roll it back and forth, walking it closer and closer to the front edge of those ramps. I'm gonna keep going until I touch the ramps. The ramps are extending up onto the trailer platform by about three to four inches so that they're sure not to fall off. So I'm just gonna slowly walk this back until I just touch the ramps. Now this is the tricky part. I'm going to carefully balance the barrel, the drum, while I pivot myself around to stand on the ramps. That will help, my weight will hold the ramps from coming off the trailer. So I'm gonna carefully keep it balanced and position myself on the ramps, being very careful to keep the, the drum balanced. And now I'm just gonna rock the barrel toward myself very carefully. So now it's contacting the, uh, the ramps. There, so now it's fully on the ramps. And now I'm just going to wiggle it back and forth and back it on down the ramp. I can also use, see how if I, if I bounce my weight back and forth, I can cause the drum to tilt to one side and then the other. That can kind of lift its weight up off the ramps momentarily. So that can kind of help speed the process. Um, you'll see what I mean once I get going. So, because it's kind of hard to grip it and just kind of muscle it back and forth. But if you get some bouncing going on back and forth, see how it just kind of slides its way down the ramp? Make sure and keep it centered on the two ramps so you don't fall off the side. So right now it's kind of slippery because it was, it, uh, it frosted last night and thawed, so the ramps are kind of slippery. That's actually helping me right now because it's helping the barrel slide down. There's less friction. So I'm just going to keep bouncing it and letting it slide down. Just be really careful not to tip it over on yourself. Okay, now I'm going onto this pallet surface, so I need to be careful not to, to land in between the slats. I'm just going to pivot it into position. I'm going to get it on that slat well, solidly. There we go. Now I'm going to rock it back and turn it around until it goes into this spot here. Just keep it up. It's easiest once you have it up to keep it up. Now we're there. I'm going to shuffle it around a little bit just to get it tighter to these other drums. Just kind of rock it back and forth and spin it into place. That's pretty good right there. I'm gonna call it good. So that's how you can easily move a full 55 gallon drum from a raised height down to ground level. If you'd like to see more handyman tips like this, head on over to tomwiley.org if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, I'll see you next time.